On a key issue, the Townsville community is divided. The proposed Adani mine and the jobs it and other mines promise are dominating the agenda. But with this electorate on the doorstep of the Great Barrier Reef, tourism operators are imploring voters to consider the long-term future. Sally Rafferty reports. Another day in the office for Paul Crocombe. Setting off from Townsville with a boat full of international and local tourists. For three decades, Mr Crocombe has made one of the world's greatest wonders his business. We started off chartering other vessels and then uh, we purchased our own boat in the year 2000, the first boat, and uh, up to number three now. Today's destination, Keeper's Reef, about 74 kilometres off Townsville. The reef is limited by the tide, so it's grown up so far. Below the surface, a kaleidoscope of colour awaits. About two million visitors travel to the Great Barrier Reef every year. So we've been waiting for five years to do this, so it was worth every, every year to wait. Oh, it's fantastic. Lots of fish. This is my first time ever, so it was definitely... I don't think I can get any better. <laughs> The reef contributes $6.4 billion a year to the Australian economy. But with coral bleaching linked to global warming, some see new coal projects like the Adani mine as an uncomfortable fit. Yes, there might be a thousand new jobs for the Adani mine, but it is in putting in jeopardy the 60,000 uh, jobs that are here in the reef tourism industry. It's not surprising that this jewel in Australia's tourism crown captures the hearts of visitors, but the minds of Townsville voters are still firmly placed on jobs in the coal industry. Ray Alexander is one of those. He lost his job in the collapse of Queensland Nickel three years ago. There's a lot of issues with a big place like Queensland Nickel closing down and then um, no work. Now working in his wife's gift shop, he says he'd consider a job with Adani if it goes ahead. It would be good if they opened up. That would create employment. Townsville's unemployment rate is more than double the national average and the jobs claims by mining the Galilee Basin sound attractive. We're looking at 15,000 jobs would be created off the back of all of those mining operations that are currently before the state government and federal government for consideration, uh, which would be huge. Back on the water, the message from international tourists is clear. This is like the Mecca. So it's really important. So Australia, it's really important. And experienced tour operators like Paul Crocombe hope it can be preserved. Sally Rafferty, ABC News, Townsville.